to Sailor Comet here and I was thinking of doing a video before I went to Japan about how I do my hand up process. So let's get started. Alright, what you see here is pretty much equipment. Um, the laptop, which it could be a laptop, desktop, all in one computer, blah 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 blah, doesn't matter. iPad for all I know. Who knows? But um, pretty much very important. And then you have headphones, which you can either use like little iPod headphones, which are like a nice little cheap option, or you can use these kind of headphones where it's kind of a little bit more professionally sounding and everything, and I cannot talk. Blech, don't tell me. I'm very inarticulate, can you tell? But anyways, uh, what I usually do is have one side on, one side off when I'm recording, and here's the mic that I use to record. There is another mic that I will show a little later on about that's a little, about like 12 or 15 bucks. You can get it at Walmart, nice and cheap. And I could show you like the quality differences between the Blue Snowball, which is like 90 bucks. Uh, but it's definitely worth the buy. I'm just saying it's worth the buy. You don't have to get it if you don't want to. If it's not worth it to, for fan dubbing and stuff like that at first, if it's just for fun, or or it can be very worth it. It just depends on your point of view. But anyways, besides the point, I'm getting off track. Um, yeah, one headphone off, one headphone on, so that way I can record. And I'm pretty much this much distance away. You don't want to be right up in the microphone or else you're start going to start to get puff, 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 puff. Oh my goodness, puffy, puffy, puffy. And you don't want to be too far away where you can't hear at all unless your microphone is like crazy sensitive where... Or if you're doing like a screaming sound, and then you want to be like probably about this arm's length away and maybe turned away from the mic when you're doing so. And you just go, ha! Ah! Like that. Hopefully I didn't scare my dad to death when I did that. But yes. And, uh, put a lot of em emotion into your fan dubbing and everything, no matter what you do. Like, even if you're just kind of like that, uh, blah, 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 blah character, Act like the oh, blah 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 character with style. You can do it. Yes. Uh, I'm just being goofy. Anyways, um, another thing I like to do is use my hands a lot whenever I do voice acting. Um, pretty much whenever there's like a pain sound, like something's jerking you back, I like to pretend like something's really jerking me back, going hut or ah something like that just for the record and then um then when you want to punch something out just power and stuff like that woo and uh what else um and when singing I usually like to keep tempo and stuff like that I'm either tapping my foot or something and then I'm doing some kind of movement whether it's like la 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 or if it's Da dun 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 like so that way I can get like a feel for it and it brings more emotion to the singing at whenever I do the band up songs and stuff. So like The last chance comes only once now I know I have new lyrics for this, but whatever. Uh Do not count on all the abandoned dreams plunge deep into the brand new mystery. And that's just my regular voice. So I'm not even trying to sound like anyone. Um, anything else during this video part before I go on to the actual screen? Um, maybe I could like show y'all um different mics and stuff. All right, next video. Here we have the headphones that I used, and these are actually my dad's, and he bought these back in the 80s, but you can buy them off eBay. They're a little bit on the expensive side, but 
All you gotta do is look up Sony Stereo Dynamic Headphones MDR V6. And you should be able to find them pretty easily. And then also we have the microphones. Here's the Logitech mic that I just bought at Walmart. So it's pretty cheap. Like I said before, 12, 15 bucks, something like that. And it's a stick kind, which I like the stick kind of microphones better. So that way it's not constantly stuck to your face so you can change the distances in between so you don't overpower everything. And here's the blue snowball microphone that I got for 90 bucks at the guitar store. Yeah, the guitar store. And there's three settings on the back. And uh, the third setting's my favorite, actually, because it gives out the clearest uh, sound, I guess. Um, and it's connected through USB. And the Logitech mic is connected through um, the port that's beside the headphones. I don't know what that's called, but yeah, there's that. There's the USB. All right. And on to the karaoke machine. Here we have the voice cancel button, and that's how I make my karaoke machine, I mean karaoke's, and the CDs that I download, I just put it in there and then voice cancel and bada bing bada boom. Done. All right. Also, while recording, I'm also going to have the ocean sounds running, so that way it'll show background noise as well as the laundry room dryer, so that way I can have something to remove for noise. And, whoa, okay. We probably don't need it that loud, but we're still going to keep it that loud just so that way I can demonstrate something later on. Okay. Okay. Testing. One, two, testing. Okay, this is the, the sound that you are hearing from me right now is the Logitech mic, which is about $12 to $15, give or take, Walmart. Yes, and it's pretty good quality, I should say, for a cheap mic. And you see how it is away from a lot of the uh, noise and everything. Oh, I almost forgot. I want to turn on the sounds. Whoa, okay. Um, hopefully that's not too loud and overpowering my voice too much. And that's way too loud. But I'm going to learn, I'm going to teach you with this recording how to get rid of this background noise later. All right, we can turn that off for now. All right. And then also notice that I am this far away from it, like say more than arm's length away. I'd say probably close to a yard to be on the safe side. So that way you're not going to overpower your mic when you yell the other way. Cause this is a very sensitive mic. That's probably why it's cheap because it's more sensitive. And it does pick up a lot more, as you can probably hear with the TV in the background. And as I'm speaking right now, it's picking up me very much. So you want to put it, the microphone volume, not the regular volume, the microphone volume, down to 0.1. So that way you're not overpowering the recording source and then sounding like... Rah, 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 rah. And you don't end up sounding like this, and right here, what I'm doing, I'm probably busting your eardrums, and I'm sorry about that, but this is what happens whenever you have it right up to the mic, and you hear a bunch of puffiness, windy sounds, <laughs> yeah, so you don't want that. Sorry if I killed your eardrums, but yeah, that's why I have it this far away from me, and doing so... I'm going to show you some loud sounds and quiet sounds, how it picks it up. And notice that I'm going to go this way. Hi! How are you today, sir? Awesome! Woo! I'm doing some loud sounds right now, and it's pretty, really goofy and doofusy and stuff. Yay! Alright, and now I'm going to do 
some quiet sounds like Fluttershy from My Little Pony. She kind of sounds kind of quiet. Hi, how are you today? Oh, that's great. Oh, yay. This is so exciting. <sighs> yay. But yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> My throat. Ugh. Also, what you want, which I don't have right now, I am so super smart, is to have water and also this is gonna sound real disgusting but tissues to like spit in and a trash can to throw everything in so that way you can keep your mouth pretty nice and clear sorry if that sounds really disgusting but that's what I do um okay enough of this Mike let's go with the blue snowball Okay, I am now with the blue snowball microphone, and I have it about a foot away from my mouth, so that way, I mean, it doesn't really show puffiness that much, but still, to be on the safe side, you're not getting up in its face like this. So, but it blocks out a lot of the background noise. Here's a tester when I turn the ocean, so ocean sounds on. Isn't that nice and serene? But you don't want that when you're recording, so I'm going to show like the same result as I did for the noise removal on this, too. Turn that off. Okay. And then now I'm going to do some loud sounds and quiet sounds for this mic, too. Hi! How are you today, sir? Yes, I am okay, and I sound like a doofus. Woo! Yeah, yeah. And now for the quiet Fluttershy. Um, hi. How are you today? Oh, that sounds pretty bad. Let me help you. <sighs> Yay! Even when you're doing quiet sounds, you still want to have, like, a little bit of projection within your voice. You want to kind of have like a false whisper like not like this because you can't really hear me that well when I'm doing this. But kind of have some air flowing behind it. Go Hi, how are you today? This is very awesome. Yes. Or to make it even sound more voiced, still have a little bit of voice behind it, but have it kind of wispy to give that sound of you whispering, but not really. Hi, how are you today? I can't believe this is really happening. Did you know that? But yeah. And uh, trying to think of any other things that I can show you. I already showed you the reaction sounds that I make. Oh, when voice acting, it's going to look kind of weird, but to help make it more believable and make it sound more interesting, uh, DBZ did this a little too much, like, when they first did it. Um, the guy who played Vegeta said, like, oh, whenever the guy moved, we made a sound. So it was like, huh, uh, 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 oh, oh my, yes. But you don't have to do it that much. Just kind of whenever they're moving and they would make a sound, you would think they would make a sound at that point. Like, if they're jumping, go, ha! Or something like that. Make it more believable that the voice is actually coming from the character. Uh, anything else in this segment? Mm. Nope, I think we're good on this. Okay, now pretty much what I recorded earlier, I am now putting into effect here. Um, Alright, what you first want to do is make sure, sorry, I tried to record something with another thing, but with another program, but it wouldn't work and just took up needless space. Alright, so you want to go to view, zoom to normal. Make sure it's zoomed into normal or else it's going to look really, really weird what I'm about to do. Or if it's going to really mess up. Not be weird. Alright, here I am getting about this. 
Let's see how much. Whoa, that's a little too much. Okay. So, about the size of what the hand is. And it could be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, but to get the best results on removing noise this way, it would be best to do that. So, what you want to do is fade out. See, it's already in the process. And then one click before the thing shuts off. You want to highlight all that to about here so you have enough room for the fade in process. And what you want to do is silence. And there you go. That takes care of that part. And then one click to the right or left of the silence part. Put about this much in. You don't want to cut out like the recording or anything, so probably about to where the finger, the size of the finger of that pointer thing. And what you also want to do is fade in, but you're not just going to fade in once because that'll still make noise. So repeat fade in, and you want to do fade in about three times, and then That'll get rid of... Ocean sounds on. Isn't that nice and serene? But if you have that extra crap going on in the background, you don't want to just silence that as well. So undo silence, undo fade-ins and fade-outs. Okay. So another method to get rid of a lot of it, but you still want to do what I just did after the fact, so that way you get a lot better sound out of your recording. Um, what you want to do, go to effects, oh, highlight the part where you're not speaking or anything, and it's just background ocean noise or whatever background noise. Go to effects, go down to noise removal. Ah, sorry. Uh, get noise profile so that way it pretty much says this is what I want to remove out of the whole entire recording then highlight the whole recording I just like click on this and it'll highlight the whole entire recording line and then you don't repeat noise removal because that would be bad then you get remove your whole entire recording that would be bad so go back to noise removal it's already set. Just press OK. And that'll remove the noise. Well, a lot of the noise. Here's... Ocean sounds on. There's still some left. Isn't that... So what I'm going to do is repeat the process to double... Make it a little bit... Uh, less noticeable, the noise in the background. All right, where's news? Okay, there it is. Uh, get noise profile. Then highlight again. Then effects. Noise removal. Then press OK. And there you have it. And that ocean sounds on. Isn't that nice and serene? And there gets rid of a lot of it. And then on top of that, then do the whole fade in, fade out, blah, 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 blah again. All right. And then save your re recording file and stuff. And I'll show you the next part. Okay, I saved the file that I just made, and, like, then, um, I'm going to go to WavePad Sound Editor. It is a very good, uh, editing system, and I haven't found, on Audacity, the echo thing is kind of messy, so I use WavePad to add echo to my file. So I open files. And this is not what I need. This is the CRM band up stuff that I've done so far. 
Um, okay, audio finish, one. And that's the thing that I silenced and, and noise removed and stuff. There's that silence right there. And I'm going to play it for you. Here's a tester when I turn the ocean, so ocean sounds on. Isn't that nice and serene? But you don't want that when you're recording, so... Alright, and what I'm going to do is go to effects and go to echo and I put it at the top time at 115 and 15 to make it sound like it's coming from a stage like Sarah Mew but if you want it bigger like a crazier sound then you can also uh, make it higher than that adjust to your liking but this is what I usually... Here's a tester when I turn the ocean, so ocean sounds on. Isn't that nice and serene? But you don't want that when you're recording, so... Apply. And you got your effect. And then file, save, file as. And then to save that file as. Audio finish. Echo. I love WavePad for that effect, and you gotta press OK in order for it to save. But back to Audacity with my clip. Audacity. Audacity. File open. And that's back to back it up, back, 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 back it up. That's project stuff, so. Um, I'm going to go back to the original audio that I made and see how I have all this big, huge spot where it's like crazy loud. Source and then sounding like, rah, 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 rah. and you don't end up sounding like this. And Whoa. right here, what I'm doing. Okay, so if you do get that, I would recommend recording that again, but. For some reason, if you're like crazy picky, or even with this where it's okay, you can uh, use the effect of amplify. I didn't show you that, sorry. But I'm gonna minus like probably about 2.7 points, and it's gonna put it down a little bit more. But that's probably not gonna be really good because it's still burning. Source and then sounding like rah, 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 rah. better than it was but I'm gonna go back over here because this sounds like the usual quieter stuff. Okay now I am with the blue snowball Blah, I cannot talk. Okay, I am now with the blue snowball microphone, and I have it about a foot away from my mouth, so that way, I mean, it doesn't really show puffiness that much, but still, to be on the safe side, you're not getting up in its face like this. So, but it blocks out a lot. So, you see how it got from, like, really loud to really soft? So I'm just going to adjust this. It's not crazy loud, but I want to do like amplify minus 2.7, but maybe at minus 1.5 would also be good. And adjust it to my liking. Uh, repeat amp amplify till I get it to the point where I'm satisfied with and then do 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 okay now I am with the blue snowball Blah, I cannot talk okay I am now with the blue snowball microphone and I have it about a foot away from my mouth so that way I mean, it doesn't really show puffiness that much, but still, to be on the safe side, 
You're not getting up in its face like this. So... Okay, that's a lot better than it was where your ears are bleeding. And then, like, the parts that are a little bit too quiet, like, probably about here. You want it to be, like, about here whenever you want it to be heard, unless it's, like, something where it's supposed to be crazy quiet. But amplify the opposite way. Like, I wouldn't say to about 0.3 on this one, or two, uh, 3.0 on this one, or 2.7, since it's pretty close to where I want it to be. So 1.5 should work, and repeat, amplify, to be more precise. And then that should make the quality of the recording. When it's based like this. So... But it blocks out a lot of the background noise. Here's a tester when I turn the ocean, so ocean sounds on. Isn't that nice and serene? How many times have I heard this? But anyways, you get my point. All right. So there's that for the editing process. For making a harmony, it's not that hard, like, for the most part, like, if you play piano or play an instrument, you can see when certain sounds clash, but the rule of thumb tends to be about not putting the notes right next to each other unless you want, like, some sort of discord harmony, like, if it's like, ah, you want to be two steps down at least. Ha, ha, ha. So, ha, ha. And you can even do a third step down. Ha, 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 ha. And you kind of sound like you're from medieval ages or something kind of fun. But anyways, to demonstrate. Ha. And then record again. And then make it even, like, even more dynamic. You can do two more steps down. Or, actually, I'll do this one as a three-stepper. Now, they're not, like, crazy in tune or anything, because I haven't, like, been practicing it a ton. Also, another thing to do when recording is feel out your notes before you sing them. Like, right now there's no music behind it, but I'm going to feel out... Uh, no. Uh, this note. Like... Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah and pretend that's where I sang, is the yeah, 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 but doing the hmm, hmm, can make it a lot easier to find the singing. And then you can also silence all of the hmm, hmm, hmm out later anyway, so it's a lot easier. And I think that's it for harmonies and finding your notes, so you sound more in tune, so, all right. All right, next part is where I'm going to make a music file slower without changing the pitch, and then also have like pitch changers as well, but not major. All right, so I'm going to open, no, I'm not gonna open, my bad. File, import, audio, and I'm gonna do Serum Music, uh, Sailor Moon Musical, um, let's do, let's do Link, I like Link. Alright, uh, where's Link? There's Link. Open up Link. And, 
You know, you notice the timing of the video and the pitch and everything. But pretty much what I'm going to do, highlight the thing, or highlight the part you want, go to effects, change tempo, because that will not change the pitch of the thing. And to make it go faster, let's go about like 39, see what that does. Gonna make it a lot shorter. And this way you can make background music fit to a certain area as well. <laughs> that makes me laugh. <laughs> but it's still the same pitch. You don't have to worry about it being like, oh shit, that's spicy! Let's hear what they sound like. It's really quick. Remix. And it doesn't even sound like it. It sounds like it would be their normal voices and everything, so it doesn't sound robotic. And Let's do the opposite, where we change it to be slower. Let's see. Let's make it 42% slower. Hey, get on the negative sign. All right, let's see. Oh, whoops. Not done yet. And it's like really, really slow right now. I'm probably not going to do the whole recording like this. Okay, I might fast forward to the... Now that one sounds more robotic. Very just like... it's really 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 slow you can't add in the extra little beats as much as possible but let's change it to be like only a little bit slower than the actual thing so minus nine and now and we're just going to do the uh So that one still sounds like it's in within reach. Now, if you want it to sound like a chipmunk, all you gotta do is change change pitch, which change speed also does this. But if you want it to go higher, let it wait to finish doing its thing gonna be it. Oh, did it get shorter? I don't know. Yeah, it, get, it got shorter, so it got faster. I think. Ooh. Really high. I don't think it changed its speed. So sweet. <laughs> okay, edit and undo the change in pitch. Now if we wanted to change the speed, however, let's do it like 46%. That's going to change the speed, but it's also going to change the pitch as well, so... pretty much changes the tempo and the pitch at the same time. Okay, we got this. Awesome. Oh my gosh, I just made all the Sailor Moon people sound like guys.
a sound like it's like a ton of tuxedo masks all at once instead of the sailor soldiers. But yeah, minus twenty four on the original. It's really awesome. It's like holy crap, they're all guys now. They're totally girls, but I totally changed the pitch and it looks, it sounds hilarious. This is the first time I ever did this, it's just funny. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. voice unless you're trying to be funny and you say that you're changing the pitch because then other people will be like oh I wonder how they really sound in real life and then they find out they're not really sounding like that and it's pretty much cheating don't change the pitch of your voice good policy uh, don't change the tempo of your voice unless you're trying to be funny and say the show that you're doing it or if the limits of your speech and the ridiculous fastness or slowness of something doesn't work with your regular voice and then you say that you changed it but other than that if you turn in a fandom for somebody and it's not exactly what you advertised yeah people are going to be kind of ticked at you um like if you have background noise in your audition and stuff like that, just say that the background noise won't be there whenever and follow the steps that I showed you earlier. And you should be fine as far as fandom goes for that. At least with my fandoms. I don't know. I'm not everyone. I can't please everyone, but um, I'm trying to think of other things. Try to be in... This is, these are just more tips than rules. Um, try to be in the most quietest part of the house and I have fantastic good English. I speak English good. <laughs> but um probably not a good idea to record whenever there's a storm brewing outside, which it seems like there is right now. It's gonna happen soon. Um but yeah I'm in the back of the house where there's no TV on, nothing else. And if you can help it Try to record away from the computer, like have the mic away from the computer as much as possible so that way you don't get the sounds from the computer running through everything. That's another tip. Um, and this is what I usually use to make karaoke's here. I can give like a little test. I don't know what's on this CD that's in here. Oh, Lost Soldier. Uh, that's not a good one, because we already have a karaoke for that. Oh, wait, I think this is a karaoke CD. Never mind, hold up. See if there's anything that actually has a voice on here.
You try with all of your might To get your way, you will see All of you devilish people Will spread through to the I can't remember the words, but that's a preview of that song Which I re-recorded way back when, just no one requested it But anyways, there's that and mom's home, so that's to go So, bye! Oh, I almost forgot to mention um, dietary goodness for voice acting and singing and stuff. Um, through this is pretty much through experience. I'm not a like professional or anything, nor have I taken classes and certain things. It's just through experience. So this is where all my information is coming through. Is through that, through that. So if I'm saying something wrong, please tell me. Um, but in my experience, um, pretty much s food was sold in it like something like a meat, like turkey, um, cold chicken, or crackers. Did I say? Yeah, I said that. And then also um, water, obviously. Um, Jello's good, something that's not too acidy because you don't want your throat to be all like scratchy from everything. And if you're allowing yourself an hour beforehand, I'd say some dairy products to like make sure your throat's ready for it. Not right before because then you feel like lock, 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 lock in your throat and it's not pretty tight. But yeah, dairy products like an hour beforehand. Or if you start feeling scratchy, take a break, have some something dairy, and um, then wait about an hour or so, and then drink lots of water. That's a must. And then get back to it if you. Then you, it should. The dairy I feel like kind of soothes the throat, where the salt dries your throat out, so it clears it out, but. It doesn't really soothe your throat, so that's where the dairy comes in. Like milk or pudding or anything like that. I, I feel like that kind of helps. But again, not right before your voice acting. <laughs> All right. And that's it for my tutorials. I'm probably going to split this up into videos. So,